twin 800 servo driven measure and correct lead edge feeder. This is the feeder in its uh, standalone table but the vast majority of our feeders are installed in the feed table and they can be removed. There's the servo motor with uh, uh, tooth belt drives, drive and freewheel rollers which avoids the raise and lower of the old fashion sun type feeders, keeps a constant letterbox. Here's your lead edge hold down for G and E flute and here are your Teflon preloaded brakes to check overrun. Feed table we have the photo cell to measure and correct each sheet fed. It will also detect print mark if you want to run with print. Or kit, or uh, that's an English expression, a typical set of parts to convert your plexifolia glue or your printer slot or your die cutter would constitute the fans, the roller box, pendant control, the panel and the encoder. And the encoder will mount onto your machine at some appropriate place where we need to register accurately to. The shiny vacuum apron which you see here is tailored and bespoke to each installation and it uh, allows the air to spread over a large area much like water poured onto the table. We don't rely upon rollers to suck it down, that's too fierce and too strong. We use the vacuum apron. This rollback has patents on measure and correct multiple registration, vacuum apron principle and an additional feature which I will show you at the end of the film which is in table bubble jet printing. So you see the way we plumb this box, it's a uh, designed so that operators don't have to uh, uh, do very much. One fan uh, evacuates the outside chambers here and the other fan evacuates the inside chambers and all the operator has to decide is one fan or two. The fans are silenced, the whole system runs on any voltage you care to supply it, it's not voltage sensitive and all components in that panel are standard off the shelf lenser with the exception of the trio motion controller which is our property which is sealed and which carries the memory. This is a lead edge feeder that increases your capacity and capability unbelievably. You're going to be able to run down to G flute, half a mil solid fiber, Corex, aluminium clad polystyrene, a whole host of new materials that you currently can't run. I'm going to run through this panel in a moment with you to show you that in addition to lead edge feeding we have production management and control. We know that this roll vac will work on your machine. Well it's very simple. The installation technician just has to answer two questions on the panel when he installs this and that is distance to pull roll from roll vac and repeat length of the, the host machine. And once he's entered those two dimensions in that roll vac package becomes bespoke for your specific machine. Having a look at the first screen we have a, a choice start stop count and correct. Correct is a kind of servo registration. You can actually uh, uh, determine where the stroke begins. Bing. Simple press the button and stop. Correct. For whatever reason you might want to use the feeder as registration. There's your ability to do that. Next screen, fans one or two, choose one or the other, as easy as that. Next screen, 
we can determine what type of feed to use. Feed to speed would be standard for your flexifold gluroprindle slaughter. Extended feed would be an ability to feed sheets longer than the capability of the machine using our multiple registration. I'll get into that with you later. And feed to nip would be if you applied this roll vac to a platen die cutter. So setting it on feed to speed, it stays on that once we've made the installation. Next, gives us a skip feed and batch mode. So we can choose skip feed if we wish. Well, we will select, it's on or off. Now we'll select batch. And going on to the next screen, batch target, batch feed number, batch weight number. This gives you the ability to run a total job, run it in batches, and have the machine continue to run but without feeding for any number you choose to give the operator time to do other tasks. Mainly uh, a feature you use to enable your takeoff to run smoothly. So we're using some hypothetical figures here. Batch feed number 25. We're going to wait so each handful of 25s are coming off and then the machine continues to run and it waits five feeds and it will shut down when it's done the batch target of 20,000. So returning got the target in, in batch mode now so we're ready to go. Turn the batch mode off the target number disappears so the operator has total control over what he's producing here. It only registers fed sheets, it's deadly accurate, it puts you back in, back in control of your total count. So it's as easy as that. Here we're simulating rotating the encoder uh, to show the rollback running. Now believe it or not that would be about 15,000 an hour. So you can see how little work this machine has to do. And each time it strokes, it's measuring and correcting the stroke incredibly quickly. And the only connection uh, this kit of parts has to your machine is that little encoder there. And our job on site is to make sure that goes in the right place, picks the right signal up. Yeah, that's about 14,000 an hour. No lubrication, no adjustment, no maintenance except clean off the rolls every day. And all those parts are common and standard on the rotor cuts.